Good morning, Chuck here with no time to be sad. Today I want to do a quick video on what I spent in Thailand last year. A lot of people always ask about a budget coming to Thailand. Uh, what can they get away with spending living here full time in Thailand? So I've done the video. There's hundreds of those videos on the internet right now about that. Just search for that and you can get a whole bunch of different uh, explanations on what it takes to live. But it all just depends on you and your, and your needs. But what I can do is tell you, we've been making daily videos for the last four years. You guys know we travel a lot in Thailand and you, you can look back at our videos and see basically what we did. But our lifestyle in Thailand is traveling. And uh, we make videos, so we stay at different places a lot. We spend most of the time, when possible, uh, by the ocean. So that's what we like to do. So we, we have a house here. This is my wife's house. We live with her family. Her family lives here. So we, you know, our, like I said, our lifestyle is traveling. So we don't stay here very often. <laughs> anyway. Basically, my overhead in Thailand is about 10,000 baht a month. What that consists of is I have health insurance. Let me start off with the health insurance real quick. Um, I made a video on that. If you want specific details on exactly what my insurance is about, I'll put it here. If you don't catch the drop down real quick of that to click on it after the video, just click this little eye icon up here and uh, you'll have a scroll down list of all the videos that I'm recommending. But anyway, uh, my insurance cost me roughly about $860 a year. Um, it's pretty good insurance. It covers up to about a million baht uh, per incident, no deductible. There's no pre-existing condition. I switched to this insurance company because one I had had a crazy pre-existing clause in it that kind of got me on my nose surgery that I had to pay out of pocket for and never insurance didn't cover it when they should have covered at least half of it but anyway this has no pre-existing condition you just have to wait at, it's like a 90 day deal you, you you just can't go in for something really for 90 days but uh, a friend of mine here had cancer and he knew he had cancer and he bought the policy. And I'm telling you how to cheat the system, but he had to wait it out for three months before he could use it, but he still ended up passing away. Anyway, um, my wife Paige has insurance. Her insurance is about 8,000 baht a year for that. And basically she gets free health care because she's a Thai citizen. Her insurance basically covers up to 100,000 baht per incident as well. So. It's like a supplemental deal. I'd rather take her if there's an accident or something happens. Chances are it's not going to cost over 100,000 baht unless it's a major deal. And then, you know, government hospitals are pretty good depending on where you're at in Thailand. Most of the doctors that work in the private hospitals work in the public hospitals also. That's how it works here. But some of the public hospitals are nicer than any hospital I've seen in the U.S. My car insurance is about 25,000 baht a year. And uh, I've got the maximum that I could possibly get on my four tuner. My four tuner is a 2014 four tuner. When I got here, I paid just a little over a million baht for it. It had 40,000 kilometers on it. Now it's got, like, I think, 160,000 on it now. But um, when I looked over the insurance stuff, a lot of the thing, like if you had an accident on the cheaper ones, that the insurance would only pay for like um, aftermarket or used parts you know panels and stuff like that to put on your car but the one i got was factory dealer parts only and i wanted to be able to take it to, to who i wanted to but make sure they use dealer parts on it so it wasn't that much difference in price but you don't have to buy additional insurance when you buy your registration and tax every year it comes with liability so but as a foreigner i recommend having insurance and front and rear cameras in your vehicle too uh, my only other overhead is utilities, like I said, and that runs around 5,000 baht a month. So my, my overhead is pretty small, about 10,000 baht a month. But uh, we spend quite a bit of money traveling. Now I'm gonna give you the number right now of what I spent last year. 
it's it's not exact but it's pretty close based on my bank account I do use some credit card for traveling so it's a little off due to the credit card stuff and but we spent roughly about 1 million and 60,000 baht last year from January 1st to uh, the end of December we spent pretty close to 1 million and 60,000 baht so divide that by 30 and that's your answer and in the US currency you can it's a little low right now but you can kind of average about 30 to 1 to kind of give a quick guesstimate in your head of what that what that is so a quick tip on the insurance if you're coming over here to retire in Thailand let's say I wanted to go check out Costa Rica like I'm interested in possibly retiring there maybe I even sold all my stuff and I know I'm gonna go to retire in Costa Rica well I probably wouldn't get my visa in the United States I would just get whatever it takes I think a 30-day you know visa to go to Costa Rica and then I would apply there for see what my options are for long stay visa um, when I get there go to the embassy there in Costa Rica and set up my long term I recommend doing that in Thailand for a couple reasons uh, when you get here, you can actually come to Thailand for you get a 60-day tourist visa, and it comes with a 30-day extension. Um, so you can stay here for 90 days, basically on a tourist visa. During that time, if you decide that you want to stay here permanently, or you've already decided that, you can actually set up your long-term retirement visa here in Thailand, which is actually a little bit easier but you you got to make sure you have all your documentation that you need from the u.s prior so you got to do your research you know your bank statements whatever you need uh, marriage certificates stuff like that so you don't want to have to try to make another trip back to the united states so you got to figure out what you need prior to coming but when you get to thailand you can go uh i have some friends that did this they they did everything themselves it was pretty easy to set up their retirement visa here in thailand and when they do that, they actually have an O visa instead of an OA. See, the OA visa is something that you can only get prior to coming into Thailand. And the OA has a lot of, a lot of rules in order to obtain that OA visa. And a lot of the, the biggest obstacle is insurance. And the only reason why that's an obstacle for some is because of the age difference and the cost of what it takes to get insurance. So. If you come here on a, on a 90 day, you can do everything here. You can hire the law office, like the one I recommend in the description box, who's helped many of my viewers, help them get settled into Thailand. And that's probably the easiest thing to do is let somebody take care of that for you. And uh, they, can, they have offices set up all around the world too. So you can actually contact these people prior to coming to Thailand and letting them know what you want to do to try to get some assistance before you come, if that's what you want to do. But I recommend getting your, I recommend getting your visa in Thailand. So that way you don't have to deal with the, with the insurance requirements and, and stuff like that. But uh, we spent a lot of money in fuel costs. Fuel, every, about every 5,000 kilometers, it cost me about 1,000 baht to put in my four tuner, which isn't too bad. It's like $30. But um, hotels, now this year traveling was easy to travel. We stayed in a lot of places we normally wouldn't stay in, some really high-end places, really for video effect to show you guys, because a lot of the people who holiday in Thailand, they want to stay at these kind of places that, that have good accommodations, familiar type foods, stuff like that. So we did a lot of that type of traveling, which was about the same price as what it would cost us normally to stay at some of the resorts that we typically like to stay at, where there's less tourists, basically. So... But we spent a lot of money traveling. We pretty much went everywhere south. We didn't go up north at all that much, I don't think. But we went as far as like Satun. We covered many islands and uh, pretty much had a tropical holiday this year. But that's our lifestyle in Thailand is we love to travel. We're not quite ready to settle down. If I ever decided to settle down i don't think i could settle down in this house it'll always be our home base but we'd probably rent somewhere closer by the ocean because that's where me and Paige like to be but if we did stay in this 
part of the world, it would be very difficult to spend a thousand baht a day here in this town. So if you figure we have 10,000 baht in overhead, uh, we may with three meals a day, because all you can really do is eat and have a couple beers, but it would average maybe 500 baht a day. Now, you're not going to go out every single day. But anyway, if we lived here, our cost would be, my original video on my budget was like a thousand US dollars a month. When I made that video, the the exchange rate was really good. When I moved here, it was 36 to one, and it stayed about 34, but now it's 29 to 30 right now. So who knows what's gonna happen, but we brought quite a bit of money over here. When we thought we were gonna move here, we brought quite a bit of money over here to leave. So we're still living off of that money four years later. I haven't really brought any money over here. Sometimes we do when the money gets, when the exchange was high, but not in the past couple of years. So basically I've spent about $3,000 a month uh, with our lifestyle. Uh, that's pretty high. Not a lot of people are gonna do what we do. Uh, they're not going to travel around like that. Now, if you if you rent a if you're buying a condo or you're building a house or 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 what I know you can't somebody's gonna say you can't put a house in your name. We all know the rules on building a house and owning a home in Thailand. You don't have to. You can look it up yourself. We all know that. So, but if you're the type of person that wants to stay, which a lot of people do because they're in their their. 60 and up age and running around the world is they just want to come and relax enjoy the weather the food and Whatever they don't want to run around the world like we do uh, You can stay in Thailand fairly cheap, but uh, that's what it cost me for the year I just wanted to share that with you on a quick little video a lot of people ask me to do a budget video I prefer not to because it's too much there, there's man that YouTube vloggers is is brutal sometimes because a lot of people that have lived here not the other vloggers but a lot of people that have lived here long term they feel like their experience is gold like their experience is this is the way it's supposed to be and you just don't really know anything because you haven't been here that long so it's difficult to try to put like stuff like share experiences and um, Definitely can't share any facts because there's not really any facts because my experience is going to be different than yours. So anyway, <laughs> check out if you got if you've got some if you have something you want to share, please leave it in the description box. Uh, what your budget is that you spend in Thailand? Maybe briefly what you like to do. You know your. Do you just like to sit at home? Do you go to the bar every day? Or don't put any perverted stuff on the channel because it won't make it to the comment section. So, But anyway, if you want to leave your budget briefly down in the description box to help other people out who may watch this video and want to know how much does it actually cost to live in Thailand. But that basically all depends on you. And before I end this video, I want to tell everybody when you decide to move to Thailand, even though you've come here a lot, make sure you give it three months. Like come here and live here for three months and see if you can actually handle the things that there's a lot of things that Thailand, there's a lot of things in Thailand that are difficult. And uh, there's a long list of those things. And living in Thailand is definitely not for everybody. But uh, give it a shot for three months before you make the decision. And uh, But I do highly recommend coming to Thailand and doing your your long-term uh, doing your long-term visa inside of Thailand. It, it's, it's, it's less rules and less paperwork inside Thailand. But anyway, do what's easy for you. Always, always do what's easy for you. If you already have insurance through your company and it's covered in Thailand, then you can go to the, to the website. I also created a video how to stay here long term. The best way to stay here long term. There's a lot of information in that video and I share a lot of uh, websites. And you can look at, but if you already have insurance, there's actually an affidavit that you could fill out for Thailand and that you meet the insurance requirements needed. But anyway, that's all I've really got to say about that page. 
You okay this morning? I got a lot of stuff happening today. I'm, today's actually Sunday fun day. <laughs> so I'm making a video on Sunday fun day today and I'm making a cooking video of um, masaman, chicken masaman. One of my favorite things to make, we're having that for dinner tonight. I'm gonna put that on the cooking video. The cooking channel's been really good. I hope you guys like the channel. If you haven't checked, if you haven't, check it out. I'll put the uh, link up here. Basically what it's about, it's a little bit, it's an extension of the No Time To Be Sad channel, but it's more detail on the food and the places to eat and some preparation. And it's a fun, fun video. And I really, I really enjoy making it. So anyway, guys, thanks for listening to me. I hope this was helpful. Like I said, leave, a, leave uh, info in the description box. If you liked it, click the like button, subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of trips coming and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.